2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic Review, Modern Day 930 Turbo. It's hard to keep track of all the Porsche 911s, and Porsche has a derivative for almost every proclivity. The sledgehammers with turbo badges and towering performance are usually sold as all-wheel drive automatics. Rear-wheel drive turbo 911s are rare and manual ones rarer still, the last one Porsche did was the 523 horsepower 997 GT2. That's why the new Porsche 911 Sport Classic coupon review here is such big news. It marks the return of a Porsche 911 Turbo with RWD and a manual gearbox to appease fans that remember the terrifying 4-speed manual 930 Turbo of the 70s. Possessed of 543 horsepower, this would have been the Widowmaker reincarnated, had it not been for modern tech like stability control. And there's nothing quite like it out there, the RWD Audi R8 GT Coupe is naturally aspirated and automatic, while the Porker is a manual muscle car done the Porsche way, a bit like a Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat, but in a pinstripe suit, at four times the price, and with the engine at the other end. With a $272,000 starting price, the Porsche 911 Sport Classic is $75,000 more expensive than a 911 Turbo, 29 horsepower less powerful, and 1.2 seconds slower to 60 miles per hour. Yet, asking what gives would be to miss the point of this thrilling bruiser entirely. 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic changes, what's the difference vs the 2022 911 Sport Classic? There hasn't been anything like the 2023 911 Sport Classic for years. Only 194 of the manual RWD turbocharged 997 GT2S were sold in the USA and production of that car ended in 2012. All the GT2S since used the PDK automatic, while the manual 408 horsepower 2010 911 Sport Classic of which 250 were made was naturally aspirated. Now the Sport Classic is back as a Porsche Heritage Design Limited run model. With a 543 horsepower version of the 911 turbo engine, it's the closest thing to a manual GT2 you'll get in the 2023 range, complete with its ducktail rear spoiler and Fuchs-style wheels recalling the 1973 911 Carrera RS 2.7. Porsche has revived a niche we thought it had abandoned. It's only temporary though, as just 1,250 will be built, ensuring its instant collector's status. It's also by far the most expensive 911 you can buy. At least it's fully loaded, with even Porsche's carbon ceramic brakes and rear axle steering fitted as standard. Pros and Cons It's a RWD manual 911 turbo. Instant collector's status. Towering power and performance. Retro styling touches. Everyday supercar. Only 1,250 will be built. It's very expensive. Slower than a 911 turbo. Not Porsche's most satisfying manual. What's the price of the 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic? With a $272,300 MSRP, the 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic's price is the highest of all the 911 derivatives, and a whopping $42,000 more than a Turbo S. The gas guzzler tax and destination fee will cost you an additional $1,000 and $1,450, respectively. 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic Handling and Driving Impressions Despite the loss of the turbo's AWD, the Sport Classic finds lots of traction thanks to its rear-engined layout and doesn't feel dramatically different from the turbo on dry roads. It helps that it has Turbo S hardware such as carbon ceramic brakes, rear axle steering, the Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control PDCC, anti-roll system, and a torque vectoring difference. It's brutally effective and can be steered on the throttle, but won't try to kill you like a 930 turbo, thanks to a lag-free, responsive engine. Its biggest differentiator is the manual gearbox, but you won't find the delightfully precise action of the GT3 six-speed sports box here. That gearbox obviously can't handle the torque, so the car ended up with a version of the seven-speeder in the regular turbocharged Carreras. 
it's a quick, positive shifter, but the five plane gate is tight and you can occasionally wrong slot it when trying to skip a gear, changing up. Alas, you're rarely punished for your mistake, as the huge torque of the engine papers over your mishap and it just keeps on pulling, regardless. It's just not the seat of the pants manual experience you get in a GT3 where being in the right gear actually matters. The rev matching function does perfectly smooth out downshifts though. Verdict, is the 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic a good car? There is no doubt that the 911 Sport Classic is an excellent car and perhaps the most intriguing of all the 911s. The prospect of a manual shift RWD 911 Turbo is enough to send many a, well-heeled, enthusiasts scurrying for their checkbook and, even at this eye-watering price, it will be an appreciator thanks to its guaranteed rarity value. It looks delightful with its 70s ducktail and those Fuchs-style wheels, and comes with the whole gamut of hardware to deploy all that power with steel-fisted discipline, yet with a RWD character that's more fun than dangerous. But it's not a car for people good at math, because it's slower and less powerful than a 911 turbo and asks way more money for less. The GT3 is still the best manual shift 911 out there, but you're guaranteed to have the only Sport Classic on your block. What 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic model should I buy? There's only one 911 Sport Classic trim level and it already comes with all of Porsche's most important hardware such as the active anti-roll system, Sport Chrono package, the torque vectoring difference, and carbon ceramic brakes. What is, disappointingly, still optional even at this price, driver assist such as a surround view camera, traffic sign recognition, and lane keep assist, though adding a few of the missing ones for a few thousand dollars probably doesn't make much difference to you if you shop in this category of collectible Porsche. You might not even need them, because who's going to daily a Porsche Heritage Design Special? 2023 911 Sport Classic Performance the Porsche 911 Sport Classic's 0-60 to sprint of 3.9 seconds is perhaps the least impressive of its metrics and is a function of the 7-speed manual gearbox and lack of launch grip. The Sport Classic is rear-wheel drive and not all-wheel drive like the Turbo and Turbo S. Unlike those 911s, it's not a numbers car, not that 543 horsepower is anything to sniff at, and the powertrain layout is designed for driver interaction, not drag strip times. A fairer indication of the huge power on tap is the quarter-mile sprint of 12 seconds and the top speed of 195 miles per hour. Engine and Transmission The engine of the Porsche 911 Sport Classic is the same twin-turbocharged 3.7L horizontally opposed six-cylinder used in the 911 Turbo, but detuned to 543 horsepower and 442 pound-foot of torque, 29 horsepower and 111 pound-foot less in order to stay within the limits imposed by the 7-speed manual gearbox taken from the normal 911 Carrera models. This is not the 6-speed manual from the GT3 models, which is not suitable for the high-torque turbocharged engine. The transmission features rev matching on downshifts and other standard powertrain features include a torque vectoring difference and dynamic engine mounts. The standard drivetrain layout is RWD, with no AWD option available. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.